Hey guys, it's Paul here, and today we're looking at this Thermo Pro meat thermometer with the probe. It can have up to two probes, and the reason I bought this is because every year we fry a turkey for Thanksgiving, and I don't know what the internal temp is, and so this is nice to check and make sure it's fully cooked before serving it to our guests and family. So this is a great way to check the temperature of the turkey to make sure it's cooked. You can use it for a variety of other things such as your uh, meat that you cook, chicken, anything really that needs a temperature check. And it has two uh, probe inputs here so you can use two of these to cook different meats so you don't have to contaminate other meats when you're moving back and forth to check the temperatures. It's easy to clean. It's a, the, From our experience, the temperature measurement on this is pretty accurate. Uh, and this monitor, it has a backlit screen. So I'll turn it on for you here. So you can set it on Fahrenheit or Celsius and you can turn it on there. It uses a AAA battery, just a single AAA battery. And see, as you can see, it's on now with two different ones, probe one on the top, probe two on the bottom. And you can set an alarm for the high or low temperatures and it will beep and blink at you if it's out of the range that you want it at. So, as you can see here, the thermometer probe is now 72 degrees. So that's the, our house temperature right now is 72. So I'm gonna boil some water and check the temp and just to see how accurate it is. All right, so I have this kettle, electric kettle water heater that's set at 160 Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna pour it into this cup and with the thermometer, I'm gonna see what the temperature is. So let's check it out. So the thermometer is reading 163. So it's only three degrees off from what the kettle says, but we also don't know how accurate the kettle is at keeping 160 Fahrenheit. So both are pretty accurate within three degrees. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope that helps you. See you next time.